Hey guys, Fabuliki here today, and uh, we are going to be doing some retaining walls. Now, if you have a setup like this in your game, you'll see that I've got some really steep sort of terrain cliff edges, and they do not by any means look attractive at all. So there are a few ways we can do this, um, and I'm going to show you two ways. Uh, but first things first, I'm going to put some fences around these stairs, because you're going to want to do that first, because otherwise it becomes a, a pretty big hassle later on. Uh, so we'll do that first. Just check the fences on like that, which is good. Now, the first way you can do this is with the foundation tool, um, which is probably the most obvious, and probably most of you would know about this. Uh, and, but you can see the problem there is that I can't put it next to the fence. It won't let me. So I'm just going to chuck it around the back here. Uh, we're going to use it on the back in this example, just so we can see what it does. Uh, so we'll just drag it up there. Good. Um, so that is our first retaining wall, and it's nothing special, it's pretty pretty standard stuff. And again, you'll see the problem here, if I try to put it over there, it says the fences are in the way, and that's no good. But there's a much more elegant solution. If we go into the rocks menu, and we use uh, the cheat move objects on, which I'll enter right now, um, what we're going to do, we're going to actually place a whole heap of rocks along this wall. If I hold down the Alt key on my keyboard, um, same on Windows and Mac, the Alt key. If you hold it down, click and drag, um, you can place rocks anywhere. Uh, well, any item, you can place it anywhere. So it, it takes it off snap to grid, and you can place it anywhere you want. And holding down Alt, you can also rotate it however you want. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm holding down Alt, and I'm rotating the rocks randomly. So I just select a rock, click, click keys for times around the place, rotate it randomly, and just, just fill in the wall. So I'm, I'm going to keep doing this until the whole wall is filled in with rocks. And this actually creates a really cool effect. Um, by no means does it look natural. It's not it's not intended to look natural. It's intended to look like a man-made rock wall. Um, so that it really suits the gardens. And really, that, that's all there is to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the end of the video now. So you can see what you can achieve uh, with this effect. Uh, it, may, it really ties the garden together really well. Um, instead of having a sheer cliff face or using the foundation tool instead because it, it fits in with the natural style of a garden or a park or wherever you're using it. It blends in with the natural landscaping of the area and it just generally makes a really good effect. Though one downside of this is I don't know how how bad this would affect uh, lower NPCs because there's a lot of objects in there and it could affect it quite negatively. But for the most part this is a pretty cool effect and if, you can, if your computer can handle it I highly suggest you doing it because it does look really good. So anyways guys, I hope this tutorial helped you and uh, I'll see you I'll see you next time.